Hey, what's up guys, Evan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the ocean modifier loop. Uh, I'm not going to be going over texturing or anything else, just the looping of this ocean modifier. So I'm going to keep it quick. Let's jump right into it. First thing you want to do is just add a plane and add the ocean modifier to the plane. The two things I'm going to be focusing on are time and scale. So adjust your scale to three and it could be anything you want. I like the way three looks so that's how I do it. And focus on the M frame. I'm going to put in 240. I'm running 30 frames a second. Let me see. Hold on a second. Yep. 30 and uh, 30 divided by 240 is eight. That's eight seconds. And that's what we're going to input into this time uh, slider right here. So keyframe the time on frame one, then go to frame 240 and keyframe the eight second mark there. Now, when we watch this play, let me move it ahead a little bit. All right, when we watch this play, when it skips into frame 240, then into one, you're gonna see a big jerk in the uh, animation, see? And that's what we're gonna get rid of. So for the, uh, all right, so what we got to do is we got to add a, another ocean modifier in it. And uh, the part about this is the, the time, one to eight. So you can see that. And then the second one's going to be where the first one left off, but it has to match. So it's going to be eight to 16. That's really important. So keyframe that and go to 16 keyframe that and match the scale as well now we have two modifiers and you notice the end frames are a lot different and that's because the second modifier has to be set to displace and uh, make sure your resolutions are the same so I'm gonna just crank this up to 8 because it looks a little better and crank it up to 8 on the second one now watch this Frame 240, frame one, still a little different. So what we have to do is start keyframing the scale. So at frame one, we're gonna do scale at zero. And then on the 240, we'll add the three. So it'll build up to the animation. And the second modifier is gonna do the exact opposite and well, you'll see in a second. It's hard to explain. All right, so we're going to keyframe one, and we're going to keyframe to three, and on the end, we'll make the second one go to zero. So it's the exact opposite. Let me uh, expand this a little bit so you can see it better. So eight and three, we're on the end frame, and then uh, 16 and zero. And notice how both end frames are the same. That's a good way to check it. So next thing we do is go into our graph editor and select everything by double tapping A and then we're gonna press T and select linear. And that'll make everything work beautifully. So let's let the animation play through. Actually, let me skip it ahead a little bit. All right, watch what happens when it goes. Through. There we go perfectly seamless looping animation. So the first one, remember is the one to eight. And then the scale always starts at zero for the first one and then builds up into three. And then the second one does the exact opposite for the scale. So at the time, you want the first one to be one to eight and the second one's gonna uh, pick up where the first one left off. So eight to 16, it'll play. So that's how you make the ocean modifier loop. I hope you found it helpful. Any questions, I can just update or make a new tutorial to make it better. So, um, yeah, drop me a comment or something. Hope that helped. All right, have a good day, guys. Peace.